Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. I hope you still remember me. My name is Father Paeng and it's truly an honor to give our reflection this Sunday a very important feast, the Solemnity of Christ the King. Ang salita ng Diyos na nagbibigay tanglaw sa ating buhay. Salitang law. Mga kapatid, I want to run you through our readings for the Solemnity of Christ the King. In our first reading, the, the story of the greatest king of the Israelites, King David. And we, we remember how the, the tribes of Israel in the book of Judges, they were led by Judges. They asked Yahweh, we want the king. And it culminated to what we call the greatest king of the New Old Testament, I mean. And, and it's King David, as we know, far from perfect. And we can see in this celebration later on in our gospel for today will give us an image of what the perfect king is all about. But my dear brothers and sisters, when we talk about Christ the King, we talk about a kingdom. In our second reading, from the letter of St. Paul to the people of Colossae, letter to the Colossians, St. Paul was talking about we as inheritors of what kingdom? The kingdom of light. And in that kingdom of light, we were able to get out from that kingdom of darkness. And in that kingdom of light, we all know the light is no other than Jesus Christ, the King. And then in our gospel for this beautiful solemnity from the gospel of St. Luke, it speaks about a leader, a king that is so special. King that is not born out of a monastic line or majesty, but a king that is messianic messianic king a king that was given to us who instead of wearing a crown of gold and precious stones was wearing a crown of thorns a king our savior who died for us servant leader kingly messiah my dear brothers and sisters i think the challenge for us this solemnity of Christ the King is to ask ourselves, who is the king of my life? Maganda sa Tagalog, sino ba yung naghahari sa buhay ko? At the end of our days, we will be face to face with that king. Face to face, kara ikara, harap harapan sa king. And, and I hope you will not be surprised, surprised that when we see that king, Kamukha pala natin, you know, because we are created in God's image and likeness from the very beginning. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And we will be face to face with that king. But brothers and sisters, that king will hold us accountable. That king who will come and rule with justice will ask us questions that matters the most. He will not ask how much money we have in the bank, how many cars we have, how many houses we have, how many degrees we have, the power that we have. But he will ask the most important questions. And what are those? Questions like, when I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was in prison, when I was sick, did you visit me? When I was in need, were you there? And I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, we will say, Yes, Lord, when you were hungry, I was there. When you were in prison, when you were in sick, I visited you. And that king will say, Good and faithful servant, welcome into my kingdom. God bless us all.